Hello Troublemakers, welcome back to another movie commentary Monday. I sat down thinking that the uh, the final after movie was out. Apparently it's going to theaters first before coming to streaming. It made me start to think, there are people who are gonna go pay money at a theater for a theater experience to watch Harden on a big screen. When I see Harden on a small screen, I get angry. If I if he's big, I don't know. I feel like my my rage would also escalate with his size. It's probably a blessing in disguise that that the after movie's not out yet. It gives me a little bit more time. I have a feeling that when I watch that movie, I'm gonna go insane. So I have a little bit of time with my sanity left. That's nice. So instead of after, we're gonna watch a movie that I think is closest in plot to the after series, which is uh, Moana, of course. I just assume there's gonna be a controlling, very angry British ex-boyfriend. I'd be very surprised if we don't see at least one angry British character here. Moana, Moana sing along. Guys, my energy's a little bit lower today, but I feel like we could escalate the energy with a little singing along. Let's watch the sing along until we get sick of my voice. I really don't know anything about this plot. What did I watch? What did I watch? I, Disney, Disney, space bar should always be paused. Always, always. I just watched something recently and I guessed everything and people are like, oh, you've seen this before. Shut up, I'm just good at guessing, all right? I'm gonna guess the whole plot. There's gonna be a, a an abusive British boy in this movie. Watch. Oh, he's seen it before. No, I just, I have a sense, I have a radar for Hardens. <laughs> in the beginning. In the beginning. There was only ocean. Oceans, yeah. Till the mother island emerged. Her heart held the greatest power. It could create life itself. Some began to seek Tefiti's heart. He was a warrior, a trickster. Oh, why? Lizards and bugs? Shapeshifter who could oh, change no. form. I, listen, just real quick here. If you have the power to change in anything and you at any point in your life choose to turn into an insect, you should have your powers revoked. Insects are like the grossest things. Why do insects exist at all? At no point have I ever seen an insect in my life and been like, you're useful. <laughs> you're a pleasure to look at. Never once. This is a weird rant. I Listen, I don't know who I'm connecting with here. Why do insects exist? I don't want to hear the ecosystem shit. We'll figure it out. We can exist without insects. I didn't realize <laughs> this is my hill that I'm dying on today, but- Oh God, there were kids when we were young who would just like collect bugs. Butterflies? Oh, that was the worst projects. You had to like collect butterflies and then you'd poke pins into their wings and then you'd show it off to class. I swear to God, some schools were turning us into serial killers. Maybe that's how they scoped us out. Maybe that's like in the manual. It's like, hey, any kids who are like super into catching bugs and then pinning them to a board and showing them off, we're gonna put them on a list for the FBI later on. <laughs> was Maui. Maui. Okay, so we stole this gem, which is the heart of all living things, and especially this island. <laughs> I love how he turns into a bird, but then still keeps his hair. Like that bird's got some sick ass locks. <laughs> was confronted by another who saw the heart. Oh no, a lava monster. <laughs> I just realized I should just start making kids content. Oh, the lava monster. What's he gonna do, kids? I'm gonna start dropping some F-bombs to bring the adults back into the room. Speaking of adults, I am one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm not. I'm one of you. I'm 20. Oh my God. I almost started thinking about like insurance in a 401k plan, but then I put my nose ring in and I'm like, nope, I'm not there yet in my life. Ooh, charge that bitch up. Sky. Oh my goodness. And his magical fish hook is devoured of inescapable death. <laughs> the heart will be found. Okay. Find Maui to restore Tefiti's heart and save us all. You know what? They're making it too obvious. Like this is probably Moana. I would love it though, if this was like just some kid that got killed off. <laughs> and then Moana was like behind there, like the camera shifted and was like, Moana was like, oh, boring. I don't want to be a part of this. And then she gets drug into it. No one goes outside the wreath. Motunui is paradise. Who would want to go anywhere else? I mean, he has a point. Look at this idyllic scene. S uh, setting. <sighs> you know what happened is I got and I said idyllic and I was like, good word. I started patting myself on the back before I finished the sentence. And I forgot to finish the sentence with a strong word. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's ominous. Blackbirds. Oh. Oh, we gonna drown a baby? Oh, no. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Wow, this is such a helpful child. I think most children probably would have like beat the turtle to death. Oh my God. 
God. Wait, where, when does the sing-along start? I want to start singing, baby. Oh my God. Is the water pulling this baby into a trap? It's going to drown this kid? This isn't Moana. This is just some kid that's going to die. It's going to drown her. Oh no, it's sentient. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Moana. Come on. All right, so they named her. That's Moana, so she can't die yet. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Should I show this? I've had this saved on my computer forever. It's so funny. This was like, like months and months ago. Someone posted this comment and I screenshotted it and I, I just kept it. I just keep it and I look at it from time to time. I am sending this to you, Dylan. What the boop is wrong with you? I have never seen anyone spout such constant wish for death. And you know what? It's actually disturbing. <laughs> and you even have the gall to say, what's the point of a movie if no one's gonna die? Which is a valid point, I might add. Movies have plenty of point without people dying. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll agree to disagree then. You don't just start calling for death the moment a character upsets you or becomes unlikable. Like, I usually wait until they're too despicable for words. So, oh, so you have a barometer yourself where you're wishing for death. I just get there faster. I argue it's like a sprint. The one who gets there first is the winner. Half the words out of your mouth are, I hope he or she dies. <laughs> you're not wrong. I really convinced you're kind of a sick psychopath in potential. <laughs> You've got really serious malice issues and you need help. What's funny is I think you might be right. So let's go back to watching this kids movie. <laughs> Listen, if Disney does not fix their space bar issues, space bar shouldn't be I I might be sick in the head because this is in my head. I have murder fantasies due to this. <laughs> make way! Make way! Oh, oh Moana! Moana, it's time you need. There's so much to do. Everything we make, we joke and we weave our I feel like make is such an easy word to rhyme. We share everything we make. We something something give and take. I don't know. There, there's something there. But then he's just like, we share everything we make. We weave baskets. <laughs> so there's a better line that you could have put there. We share everything we make. We make. <laughs> we weave our baskets. <laughs> of the coconut tree. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have a huge coconut metaphor in this movie. They use each part, like there's gonna, she's gonna look at a coconut later in this movie and be like, I could be a coconut. Metaphorically. In this right way you are. <laughs> and weave our baskets. <laughs> The undertow and the way the water is mischievous. Ha! I like how it misbehaves. The Ooh, village me. Grandma's got bars! One more time, baby! I like to dance with the water. You like to do that, huh? Oh, and the way the, the water is mischievous. mischievous. I, I like, like how, how it misbehaves. Oh! If the voice starts to whisper, oh. follow the farthest star. Oh! I'm not that voice inside. Oh! You are. Oh, Grandma's got bars! Grandma's kind of a gilf, too. Listen, am I saying anything that we're not all thinking? I've wanted to bring you here from the moment you opened your eyes. This is a sacred place. All right, it's a sacred place. I was expecting something a little more extravagant. There's like six rocks stacked on top of each other. <laughs> Disney, fix your... F look at this, look at this, look at this. I wanted to bring you here since you were a kid to the flat rock stack. <laughs> it's a special place where you think about how each one of us are like the rocks of this island. Yeah, I don't know the metaphor. There's some metaphor. There will come a time and you will stand on this peak and place a stone on this mountain. Oh. So each of the chiefs put a stone on top. Oh, that's cool. I was roasting the hell out of this. Listen, I would... Listen. I was roasting the hell out of that. That's a cool tradition. All right, I'm looking for jokes here, though. This is a comedy. Because this video is a comedy, I'm going to talk about wanting to bang the grandma. Is there any truth to that? Of course not. Island. Hi. The village believe. Believe. Yes. Island gives us what we need. It gives, it gives, it gives. Don't give up, stay. Stay. My people beside Next to you. When I think of tomorrow. Manana. Lee girl. I'll have my people to guide me. Guide them. Build our future together. Oh, together. And find happiness right where you are. Right here. Where you are. Right here. Wait, did that, did that pig just play the trombone? Oh. 
I didn't mean that was that was an instrument. I watch watch this. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit play. I'm gonna hit the space bar. It's gonna play one frame and then pause again. Ready? It's just trying to make me look stupid. It knew I said that. Watch me. I'm gonna do it again. What did I say? Don't. So I gotta. <laughs> Disney. 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 Sometimes our strengths lie beneath the surface. <laughs> that chicken just ate a rock. <laughs> we should clear the diseased trees and we will start a new grove of there. Thanks, Moana. She's doing great. All she said was like, hey, just go plant some shit over there. Wow, what an intelligent chief we're gonna have. Over there? Like right there? I never considered that. I never even looked in that direction in my entire life. Oh, she's gonna do great as chief, showing us where to put shit. <laughs> It's like a random generator. Our traps in the East Lagoon, they're pulling up less and less fish. Rotate the fishing grounds. Uh, we have. We'll fish the far side of the island. We tried. <laughs> Ooh, looks like she's kind of failing. Let's plant some stuff over there. Wow, brilliant. Never thought of that. This girl's a genius. Hey, we're not catching fish. Maybe we should fish somewhere else. Oh, uh, we tried that, dummy. We're seeing the both sides now. We're seeing the side where she's super intelligent, and we're seeing where she's not up to snuff right yet, right now. Oh my god. Why was finishing that sentence so hard? My sentences just run out of steam from time to time. Windward side? And the no fish, the coconuts are dying. It's time for a journey, girl. No one goes beyond the reef. Dad, Instead of endangering our people, so you can run right back to the water. Oi, oi, oi. No one goes beyond the reef. He's got a history. He knows something. He was you. Ah, oh, the backstory. Backstory. Okay. He took a canoe, Moana. <gasps> he crossed. His friend is gonna die. 100%. His best friend begged to be on that boat. Your dad couldn't save him. Hey, Ananim. Quick question for you. Did the story just get better? The chief's friend just died. His best friend. I feel more connected to the chief now. <laughs> That's weird. Someone died and it helps the story. Oh, hmm. Seems like death was kind of a good story choice. I've been ah. never really knowing why. Ah. I could be the perfect daughter, no matter how hard I try. Oh, this is gonna be a banger, ain't it? I'll be satisfied if I play along. She's not gonna add that rock. It's too early. That's the final shot. Yep, yeah, nope, she didn't put the rock on top. We had the backstory of the the dad went out on a raft with his best friend and the storm swallowed him up, killed his best friend. She is now going out on a raft with a pig. I'm, listen, we got a little human death, a little pig death on top of that. I don't, just add it, start stacking it. Cute little pig, I'm down. Look at that, pig is happy, a little too happy. Know your place, pig. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Pig die, pig die, pig die, pig. Moana might be in danger. Oh, boo. Ooh, she in danger here. Oh, I thought that was the start of the adventure. Oh my God, the pig. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, that's the biggest injury. She hit her back hard. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if she had a concussion. Like she slammed into the bottom of the ocean there. Are you gonna tell dad? I'm his mom. I don't have to tell him anything. Ooh, a little grandma with some power. I like it. Flaunt your authority, girl. When I die, I'm going to come back as one of these. I'm the village crazy lady. That's my job. You know what they say about the crazy ones. Who are you meant to be? Bang the drum and find out. Bang the drum and find out. Oh, why would you seal this place up? It's amazing. You know what I was thinking? She got shaved armpits. If you're an island people, are you shaving your pits? Not that we need to do hyper-realism, but I'm just thinking like, were, were island societies, were they pit shaving kind of people? I feel like that sort of grooming only happened kind of more in like the 19th, 20th century. I don't know enough about armpit hair, <laughs> the history of it. <laughs> Not that it matters in any way. I'm just curious. Bang the drum. Oh, this is gonna be a spectacular show. Some magical elements are gonna fire off. <laughs> it's like... 
What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, so this is the past. Where's my sing along? Ah, yeah. That one's Brian. Oh, these are settlers. Oh, so they're all ex they're ex they're an exploring people. We were voyagers. Yeah. We were voyagers. So the dad is just traumatized, and now he's taking his trauma out on everybody. We were voyagers. We were voyagers. I'm happy she heard the story of her people, and now she's been enlightened. It's not cool when stuff like this is suppressed. People need to hear the stories. Which is why I think you should sign up for Audible, today's sponsor. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Audible. Have you guys ever heard of Audible? I've never talked about Audible before, so let me fill you in on what it is. Audible has the world's largest collection of spoken word entertainment. Now, since I've never talked about Audible once in my life, I think I should let you know what they provide. They have audiobooks in every genre, from mystery thrillers with murder, Mystery thrillers without murder, those are not good though. You don't want to listen to those. Audible also has sci-fi fantasy, which is my realm. That's where I like to sit most of the time. They have health and wellness, personal development. I, I don't listen to that stuff because I'm already perfect. Everyone's been talking about the very highly rated Jeanette McCurdy's I'm Glad My Mom Died. I don't know if you've seen any articles. Everyone's talking about it. Audible has that, of course, and narrated by none other than Jeanette McCurdy herself. My next listen though, hey, listen up. Inheritance Games. It's been in my library for a minute. I can't wait to dive in. It's about this ordinary everyday girl. All of a sudden she finds out she's inheriting billions of dollars from this old kooky guy she'd never even heard of. Turns out this old billionaire though has a bunch of grandchildren who are all expecting a piece of the inheritance. They're expecting to get rich. And now they're like, well, who's this girl? I think they want to kill her. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm excited to dive into that and find out. Here's the beautiful thing about Audible. Listen, if you use my link, which is audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble, it's going to be in the description as always. I mean, this is my first time. So as always, it, I mean, going forward, it'll always be going forward when I talk about Audible. If you're on your phone, you can just as easily text Dylan is in trouble to the number 500 500 and you get a free 30 days as well as one free credit to spend on any audiobook of your choosing. You want to listen to Jeanette's memoir? You want to listen to inheritance games for free? You want to listen to literally anything for free? You're choosing. Go pick something. Underrated though is you get 30 days access to the Plus catalog. That has Audible's on-demand listens for members. If you've listened to me talk about Audible all these times and you still haven't signed up, what are you doing? Audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Sign up. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this video. When he stole from the Mother Island, the car awoke. Oh. Monsters lurked and boats stopped coming back. Uh, so taking the heart of the island, now the monsters are more emboldened. So they started attacking the ships and the people. To protect our people, the ancient chiefs forbid voyaging. Okay. Listen, for as weird as my jokes are gonna be and have been, I still want to follow the plot. <laughs> we will find a way we can to- can stop the darkness! Oh, what are you doing, girl? Huge canoes! Your dad's not gonna get on board. We can voyage again! <laughs> what are you doing? I should have burned those boats a long, long time ago. No! This is just a rock! No! Grandma? It's your mother! <gasps> what does she do? Is she okay? She went somewhere without her cane. Oh, no! Not the gilf. Why? They really rushed to this part. I was thinking that it was taking a little while to set up the plot in the journey, but now they're just like, reveal the history, grandma's knocked out, dying. Like they are pushing through this now. And <laughs> no time to waste. She's on, she's on her journey now. <laughs> oh, supportive mom. Love you, mom. I think the grandma's gonna get saved, which, Warms my heart. See, I don't always wish for death anonym, okay? Sometimes I want people to survive, specifically if they're hot grandmas. I mean, just if they're grandmas. Oh, damn. Taking off in the middle of the night? That's frightening. Oh, I guess the morning's here. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be the pig and the rooster. <laughs> it's a funny gag. That's a funny gag. Ocean is a friend of mine. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, tie your foot to the raft or something. Tie its foot. <laughs> this is, I, you know what? When I first saw the chicken, I was like, this is gonna be some dumb bit. But they made it work. It's every, every joke that they had with the rooster is funny. Oh, no. Yeah, there's monsters in these water too. Yeah, she's in real danger here. 
Dude's here. Ah! Isn't that Dwayne Johnson? Isn't he the voice? <laughs> when you use a bird to write with, it's called tweeting. Did you just make a Twitter joke? Was that what that was? It's called tweeting? And then us in the audience were supposed to be like, oh, <laughs> like the app? Because I got stuck here for a thousand years trying to get the heart as a gift for you mortals. You don't even know how you feel. Yes, it's really me. It's Maui. Breathe it in. What can I say? Welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. And thank you. You lying slimy. Oh my god. The parkour. Oh wow. She's good. This is my canoe. Well journey to the <laughs> I like how she said canoe. Canoe? Of Motunu. Say canoe again, girl. It was Moana, right? Yeah. And this is her what? You will restore the heart. On your what? You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, battle, battle, yes! Pirates. They're uh, kind of cute. Uh, uh, for kids. Not my kind of joke. I want some real angry pirates. Ah, uh, yeah, oh my god, this is gonna be so lame. <laughs> Do you see my hook? No magic hook, no magic power. It's like Mad Max. No, 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 no! Ah, <laughs> Coconuts. Oh, she's gotta take some damage, right? She's gonna take a couple injuries. Oh my god! This woman's amazing! First, we get my hook. Then save the world. If anyone has my hook, it's that beady-eyed bottom feeder. I'm a little bit nervous about the enemies now. Like the lava monster, great introduction. But now we're talking about like little coconut fellas mad maxing around in the ocean. I want to see some cool enemies. You will never be a- Wait! Really? Blow dart in my butt cheek. In my butt cheek. <laughs> Listen, I'll laugh at the easy comedy, I will. Oh, did he ditch? He's gone. He's gone. We're back where they started. Oh, wait, what? <gasps> is it? Is she dreaming? Huh? Yeah. Oh, no! What? Hair and death! <laughs> yeah! <gasps> I'll take it. I'll take some death in a dream. We're here. Oh, okay. So now we gotta get his magical I have your hook. hook. I wonder if that turtle from the beginning of the story is gonna come back into play. If the ocean's so smart, why didn't it just take the heart back to Tafiti itself? Yeah, there's some mysteries here. Because why does the ocean, or why, why does he have to be the one to put the stone back? into its proper spot. Why did it wait so long? There's some, there's questions here. There's still mystery to be had. How do you get inside? Is it like a manhole? Not seeing an entrance. Because it only appears after a human sacrifice. That's a lie, it's joking. Kidding! Yeah, it <laughs> it's a manhole, right? I thought maybe under the rock. <laughs> under the rock. Maui's played by Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's more than a manhole. That's a group hole. <laughs> I don't know why that gives me bad imagery. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. This is cool. It's like a realm underneath the ocean. This is actually really, really cool. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> Fish hook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please be cool. Oh, it's a crab! It's a giant crab! What have we here? Oh. He's got like boils on his teeth. I can't. I can't. There are certain things I can't do. Insects, grandmas, I can do. <laughs> Listen, if she survives, I'm crossing her fingers on that one. But fucking boils on your teeth and just like, are you just like big yellow spots? Come on. They are funny looking little thing, aren't you? Don't! Is he British? Oh my god, is he the toxic British one? That's my grandma's. I ate my grandma. I ate my grandma. What accent is that? I ate my grandma. What would, what would if I was hardened, what would I sound like? Or ate my grandma. Well, Tomatoa hasn't always been this glam. Cause I'm beautiful, baby. I am really creeped out. Scrub the deck and make it look shiny. I'm back. Mr. X. It's Maui time! Mr. X, he doesn't have his powers back. He's gotta get used to his powers again. Little Maui's having trouble with his look. I, this song, everything about it is just creeping me out. I feel uncomfortable around this crap. I feel like if I was a woman and the creepiest guy at the bar who's been making eye contact and I'm trying not to look at him, but he, I can just feel 
his gaze on me. And now, after like two hours of just staring, he comes over and offers to buy a drink. I don't want to be mean, but you can't, you gotta go. <laughs> I wonder if she's gonna grab the hook and then she's gonna have powers? Maybe? I doubt it, actually. From the ones Ooh. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now it's time to kick your hiney. Maui, it's time to kick your hiney. Come on, dog. Bring the grandma back. She had bars. I want to listen to her. You can't run from me. Oh, you can. You keep surprising me. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Did you like the song? No, I hated it so much, sir. And I couldn't even beat the dumb crab. We're never making it to Tafiti. This mission is cursed. Gosh, get your confidence up, sir. Can you at least try? Yeah, I think we're, we need one more banger song. You gonna give me a speech? How do you get your tattoos? They show up when I earn them. How do you earn that one? Man's discovery of Nanya. What's Nanya? Nanya business. Nanya business. <laughs> you don't want to talk, don't talk. Sing! Oh, they're having their heartfelt moment. I wasn't born a demigod. I had human parents. They took one look and decided they did not want me. They threw me into the sea. I was found by the gods. They gave me the hook. How do you know that, though? Like, as a baby, you don't remember getting yeeted into the ocean. <laughs> Someone would to have had told you that you were a baby thrown into the ocean like you were nothing. It could be the gods. I don't, the Greek gods? They liked love of chaos. They were mischievous. They would totally lie just to watch you suffer. So I don't know, man. You might have had some loving parents. The gods might have stolen you. Back to the humans I went. I gave them island, coconuts, oh. anything they could ever want. He was, he seeked their love. You took the heart from them. He said that already. You did everything for them. Right, but that's what he said. So they'd love you. That's, yep, I figured that out before you. <laughs> Never enough. Oh, he just wants to be cared about. Maybe the gods found you for a reason. Or maybe they were the ones that stole you from your parents. But the gods aren't the ones who make you Maui. You are. Alright, I'm ready for a sick ass song or a climax. This film kind of hit a lull. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it real. I need to be brought back up right now. Oh, yeah, so okay, so we got the big battle yet. He's gonna fight the lava monster. That's gonna be pretty sick, right? All those new lands, new villages, it was the water that connected them all. Ah, uh, here we go. Lava. Lava. Go save the world. Now you're gonna help too, girl. Don't think you're gonna get out of this. <laughs> the hair. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it hates water! Oh, of course, the main enemy. The whole film is about water and the power. Oh, that was the end of the battle. That was round one. Another joke. Nail. Nailed it. The power's been inside I you. I told you to turn back. The power's inside you the whole time. It's not the thing. It was made by the gods. Well, the gods fucked your parents. I'm not going back. Uh, the fuck you aren't. My hook is cracked. One more hit and it's over. Without my hook, I am nothing. That's not That's true. That's not true. Without my hook. Now we're here because the ocean told you you're special and you believed it. Why doesn't the ocean just take out this monster? You were born my boat. Your canoe, not your boat. The ocean chose me. Damn, this girl's, this girl's performance is solid. Dog, the power's been inside you the whole time. The hook, it's just been a conduit because you needed it to be a conduit, but it powers inside your heart the whole time. You have to choose someone else. I don't think you could just abdicate your responsibilities like that. The fate of your island is at stake. Her grandma! Her grandma said she was coming back as a stingray! Her grandma died though, no! You're a long ways past the reef. Oh no, you're a long way from being human. I couldn't do it. It's not your fault. Eh, it's a little bit her fault. Why do you hesitate? I don't know. Yo, her performance is so good. I know awesome! It. Who's the scar? She stands apart from the crowd. She 101, huh? She loves the sea and her people. Who are we talking about here? She makes her whole family proud. I know it's not Moana. Her dad don't like her. <laughs> Moana, you've come so, so far. far. Moana, listen. Listen to me. Do you know who you are? You're Moana. Who am I? I am a girl who loves my island. Named Moana. It calls me. It calls you Moana, because that's your name. I am the daughter of the village chief. The father of Moana. They call me Moana. I can't believe the crime was dead, though. <laughs> I am Moana. Moana. 
Wouldn't it be crazy if she just finishes this mission by herself and Maui doesn't come back and like everything just gets fixed and he's just like, oh, oh damn. And then the two never meet again. <laughs> hey, I'm talking like a huge story misdirect. You wouldn't expect it. She just bosses up on her own, completes the mission, no help. Oh, what's your plan here? Tekal can't follow us into the water. Oh, she's literally gonna explain it. Oh, oh, she learned that. Yep, okay. She learned that move from uh, Maui. No! Woo! Add a chicky. <laughs> Why is the ocean being so unhelpful right now? Like we could use you in this battle, sir. Or ma'am. All right, here comes the save. Here comes the save. Easy, easy to see. Here's that hit. Here's the hit. He's gonna block it. Moana! Oh. No, the ocean did? Wait, what, the ocean's gonna help now? Yo, the ocean could've did that so long ago. Get the heart to the spiral! I feel like I'm watching Lord of the Rings. <laughs> here we go. The final blow. <laughs> it's broken. But it doesn't matter. It was inside of you all along, the power was. Oh, I see the outline. It's gone. With the island's just gone? Oh, huh? He is the island? <gasps> That's Tafiti. Let her come to me. Oh my God. She's Moses. Oh, <laughs> you freak. Across the horizon to Okay, this is badass as hell. Yo, she parted the sea to allow this fire monster access to her. And then she's just gonna walk badass towards it. Oh. You know. Oh, there's no way it cooled that fast. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if she was like, put her forehead to it and her face just erupted in flame? Oh, it's a big leafy looking motherfucker. She looks like that logo. She looks a little too much like the logo. Listen, the Mr. Bean, the bean thingy. Bean logo. Listen, there's a guy. What am I thinking of? What's the green, the green giant? <laughs> the green, <laughs> this is her. <laughs> All right, problem solved. The enemy becomes the friend. Sorry about your hook. Hook? No hook, I'm Maui. Was the power not inside him the whole time? Was I wrong? Yo, this giant's kind of sexy. You see the lashes on her? Or she gave him a new hook? The power... Ah, <laughs> oh, the power wasn't inside him at all. It was the hook entirely. All right, that's cute. Good for you, giant island lady. What's she doing? What's she doing there? Where are you going? Are you going to sleep? Are you gonna lay down? Are you gonna take a nap? It's a quick rest. Let's get, let's get a little shut-eye. That's good for you. Good for you. It's, a, it's been a trying day. Damn, I'd love to climb those mountains if you know what I mean. <laughs> My people are going to need a master wayfinder. They already have one. I already have one. When it comes to predicting the most predictable lines of the movie, there is not anyone better than me. All right. So she saved her village, but not her grandma. Oh, she got to do the rock thing. She got to put that rock on top. What's her dad going to say? What if her dad's still pissed? You weren't supposed to go beyond the reef <laughs> and I saved the world. I don't care. The reef. I may have gone a little ways past the reef. You bitch. <laughs> All right, they're going back to their explorer rays. I thought the turtle was gonna come back. Yo, nope, nope, nope. Hey, listen, if you watched enough of my videos, you know what I was thinking right there. I'm not gonna say anything though right now. She gotta do the rock thing. That's what we're gonna focus on right now. Oh, oh, damn. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. <laughs> I had a good time. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck. I, uh, I hate the fact that I'm watching this. I'm just doing this so that people will yell at me. Shiny. What? I'm so shiny. Still upside down here. If my name was Sebastian and I had a cool Jamaican accent, you'd totally help me. He really missed on every single scene he was in. I hope you guys enjoy this. I, w I had some weird energy today. Every video is a little different. Sometimes I just feel I have different energies for different days. Sign up for Audible. Audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. You guys know I love Audible. Signing up helps me. So if you guys want to get a little free trial, test it out. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you next Monday. Listen, toodles!